I'm Roger, I run the pet stall and I've been here 30 years now. This is my 30th year this year. I started uh, selling video games originally. Uh, I did that for 15 years and then uh, I moved on to pet food because I used to work next to a pet food stall and the woman who run the pet food stall, she had a stroke. Uh, I was going to close mine down because of um, supermarkets moving in on and taking our trade. He said, it's a shame to shut the two stores, so I took over the pet store, so I've been running the pet store ever since. I'm Vicky, I am originally from Essex and now live in King Twinford uh, for the last 12 years. Bradley Hill is a nice place, um, it's getting refurbished outside, we're going to have the tram up here soon. Uh, the market is really awesome, you've got really nice people here. I just like to find little hidden gems and the parks and, but yeah, when I came to the market I started slowly talking to people and you kind of felt welcome. Yeah, my name is Chris and um, I pretty much tattoo in the market, so I cater for like every tattoo need really you know whatever the client wants then I'll, I'll draw her up and make sure I'll kind of make their sort of um, thought come to life on paper if that makes sense uh, and then get it on the skin um, I've been working here now for about five months um, and to be honest like I've worked in studios previously and it's always um, it's never been as sort of like lively and as um, family based as like it is in the market some days you'll come in and it'd be something like mundane, like a name, and then the next day you'll be doing like a portrait. So like every, every day is different, which keeps me on my toes, really. I was um, working, uh, so I was travelling around a lot for my job. Um, but I used, used to come up here for shopping and that, and, and the Sainsbury's that used to be um, in Merry Hill. I worked there first. Uh, before I worked for Dudley Social Services. Around this area is where I always did my shopping. I'm mostly up here now, every day. Now I've retired. Well, I was born in Wolverhampton, obviously. Then we uh, came to uh, Pensnet to live, and then been coming up here since I was a baby. Um, probably five, and now I'm nearly 55. <laughs> I was a naughty boy, the one Saturday. There used to be a massive record store right in the middle. The Sex Pistols bought their, one of their first album out, albums out. And it was never mind the you know what. And I was just learning to read four sentences. And unfortunately, I read it out loud. <laughs> and I had a clip round the ear roll off my mum. I've always spent time around Broly Hill. But family, yeah. I lived with my mum till I was 11, then I moved to my uncles and my granddads over in Brockmore, just down the road, and um, yeah, settled down there. I'm Jodie, um, I've got the deli on the front of the market. Um, we've been here just over a year, um, well it's been mine for just over a year. Um, before that I did work for Craig, who had the deli before me, on and off for quite a few years actually, going back probably about 24 years I've worked on and off on the deli. I love the market, always have, love the people, love the interactions and the banter and the customers. Um, so when he was selling, it just seemed right, so here we are. I'd actually been teaching um, before that, um, but after COVID, teaching just hasn't been the same. So it was half and half, half online, half in person. And I was fed up of sitting at home in front of a laptop, so I just decided to come back to the market and it's been one of the best decisions I've ever made. I love it. In Braille, mainly it's um, boyfriends or girlfriends' names, really. Um, and then I do a lot of cover-ups as well of boyfriends and girlfriends' names. The worst thing is um, if, if someone comes in and has a cover-up and they get rid of a name they don't want and then they want to put a new name underneath it, I'm kind of thinking what's the point in having it covered in the first place? But some people never learn the lesson. I think with, it, with, with, with the cost of living crisis now and that, people are looking for a cheaper option for things to buy. So, and markets have always been known to be cheaper. So I think people are going back to markets now. It's like a family up here, so you don't feel unwelcome. I've just managed to grow and make some friends in the market and outside of the market. I suffer with mental health, 
so no one really understands what it's like to have mental health and have episodes. Few people on this market does suffer with mental health. I just felt more at home because there's people that actually understood me than out in the big bad world. Well, we usually come and sit in the calf and uh, they've usually got the music on, people are singing and having something to eat. It's, it's quite them um, quite good days. I started meeting friends that we met up in the calf, which we still do. <laughs> There's some friends I meet on a Saturday, uh, they, but they only come in on a Saturday. But me and Josh and basically meet every day when it's open. It was nice actually when it was um, the deli's one year anniversary. Um, so Tracy on the cards did us a big balloon arch and we really went to town actually we had a birthday week. <laughs> Thursday afternoons, I can't choose one but me and Kim who works with me on a Thursday we do the singing deli girls <laughs> live at three o'clock every Thursday. One of my favourites I think was when we, was, we were singing um, Miley Cyrus Flowers. We can't sing, we're terrible singers but we just, you, you gotta have a laugh haven't you? <laughs> we used to go out on our bush boils when I could obviously and um, we used to go over the pools and all sorts and then just ride round the canals, you know. It was great. Great area, really. And you've got quite a bit of greenery as well. It's good. It's all good. Customers are like our friends. Um, you know, we know them personally. I know uh, generations of the same family come to me. You know, the, the mum and dad will come and then the son, son will come and then the the daughter, the, the, the uncle, everybody comes and we all know each other as friends. It's a very, very close community and the best, best people ever. I mean, they're, they're loyal to, the, to you. If you look after them, the customer will be with you for years and years and that's Bright Hill. It's a bit like a lifeline because it's a bit, because I live on my own. It's nice to come up and meet people in here. So obviously we've got our market family. Um, so we all, we're all very, very close. Um, we all have a laugh and we all help each other out, um, which is really nice. Um, and, and with the customers as well, you know, um, I love having a chat with them. And when they come back the following week, um, asking them, um, you know, they tell me what they were, what they were going to do the week before. And so I could sort of follow that up and ask them how they got on. And we have a laugh with the customers as well. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's really nice, never a dull moment on Briley or Market. <laughs> Everyone's like really down to earth and you know, we're all from the same place, we all go through the same issues in life um, and it's just like relating to people really and just like un having that understanding. It's not just about the artwork or tattoos, it's about, um, yeah, it's about getting to know people and personalities. I love Briley I would never get nowhere else. <laughs> At least I've got plenty of millions in the mind.